My name is Dr. Maurice Pateski, and welcome back to The Sitch, a bi-monthly show from the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine Cooperative Extension. Today, we're going to talk about fencing materials uh, to keep your chickens, hopefully, inside their coops. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about uh, chicken wire uh, versus hardware cloth. So first, we're going to talk about chicken wire. So as the name implies, uh, chicken wire is primarily uh, made to house chickens, uh, but it can also be used to, to hang stuff off of walls and to prevent roots from growing uh, in a certain direction underground. Uh, so the wire, as you can see, is, is a very light mesh of wire with uh, hexagonal gaps. Um, it's made of thin galvanized steel. The galvanized part just means that they put a protective coat on it to prevent rusting. Um, so Chicken wire, in my opinion, uh, unfortunately, is very common, probably the most commonly used fencing material to house backyard chickens. And um, I, I think we all think of chicken wire naturally um, as the first kind of go-to place when we think of, of, of fencing for our, our backyard birds. Makes sense, but unfortunately, uh, chicken wire doesn't really uh, work very well for two main reasons. Uh, it's relatively weak. Um, predators can actually gnaw through it pretty easily. Um, and also um, other rodents that are non-predators can actually gnaw through it also. And the holes are also too big. Uh, so rodents, believe it or not, can really kind of push their way through, uh, especially when they're motivated to get some food or, or water inside the coop. Uh, that being said, it's really easy to use. Um, it bends really easily, as, as you guys can see and probably know. Um, you can cut it really easily with, uh, with wire cutters and the sharp ends can be easily folded down or moved out of the way. Um, so that is the good aspect of it. Um, so the second choice and, and, and um, what I really like to use is hardware cloth. And uh, it's kind of a weird name considering it's steel and not cloth, but that's what it's called. It's made of steel. Uh, remember to get either the uh, galvanized or stainless steel types, which are rust, rust proof. And um, it comes in sizes. If you look at the diameter here, it comes in uh, sizes uh, ranging from one quarter inch, which is this, to one inch. I prefer the quarter inch. Uh, the good part about harbor cloth is it's really, really strong. So it keeps predators out. Uh, plus the diameter can be very narrow. This quarter inch stuff, like I said, is the stuff I like. Uh, it's great at keeping critters out. My suggestion again is to use this quarter inch. The bad part about harbor cloth is really hard to work with. Um, after you cut the ends, um, you really need to file down these ends. They will, they will cut you up. Um, and I, I certainly have some, some scars to prove it. Um, that being said, hardwood cloth, hardwood cloth should be your go-to material for all things related to poultry fencing. Save the chicken wire for a non-poultry project. So for the final few seconds, um, just want to throw in a few tidbits about fencing. Remember to bury your wire at least six inches under the ground to prevent burrowing, and also to make sure you have some type of roofing material, whether it's fencing or another material, uh, to prevent flying predators. Uh, finally, fencing is not perfect. Uh, if you have birds that, that like to fly over the fence, fencing can help. Um, but believe it or not, chickens can kind of fly. It's not, it's not pretty. Uh, it's not poultry in motion. Um, but uh, especially as younger chickens, they can fly a little, uh, especially when it comes to getting over a fence. So fencing is not perfect for that, but it certainly can help keep your birds inside your coops. So I hope this is helpful. And as always, uh, if there are topics you would like covered on the switch, please reach out to me at drpluck at ucdavis.edu. Thanks.